Welcome back, Double T Gang. What's up? Welcome back. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe bell button, thumbs up, leave a comment. You know what to do. So I've realized um, that my Scarbro, you know, Scarb's travel videos, they've been doing numbers. So thank you for that. I appreciate y'all a lot. Much love and respect. Um, yeah, they're doing decent numbers compared to everything else on this channel but you know whether you make memes or you're trying to make a million there's something on the made talks for you so definitely check out the other content too know what i'm saying so this video is totally one take one take boys this is how you do it so there's no bs no fluff no edits none of that this is raw all in one sitting and one go but i want to talk to you about something has been on my mind and that's three reasons I really like Scarborough and you know I thought long and hard about these three reasons and what I should put in here because definitely you know there's way more than three but um yeah let's right get into them um, number one it's definitely none other than STC if you ain't from Scarbs that's short for Scarborough Town Center if you know you know what it's about but you know it's like the premier mall on the east end in the forgotten borough of toronto so if you didn't know the six comes from the fact that six boroughs come together to form toronto and scarborough is obviously one of them so coming back to stc you know whether you gotta do a grocery run whether you're just trying to eat get food or you know you're trying to hang out uh, meet some people for whatever reason STC is the go-to spot that you know we all know about in scarves also if you're dodging the aunties and uncles that's the spot where it gets real hostile too and you know I get it recently that they've been adding much more bougie spots and stores like foreign brands that we can't even pronounce the name too but you know it still remains close to the hearts of a lot of people in Scarborough right um, and it's a great spot uh, very safe uh, very nice mall regardless of all the BS you hear about Scarborough being you know violent or grimy and all that that's just media type BS you know you just gotta ask people who've been there or who hang out there a lot you know they know what really goes down and it's super safe super nice and super useful place to have you know in the Scarborough um, then I want to come to reason number two I don't know if you guys know this some of you might because you watch all those drone footage and like driving videos on YouTube now um, that's basically what my Scarborough videos are minus the drone I don't got a drone um, they're too expensive but uh, you know mans are struggling out here but what I do know is that Scarborough has a lot of beautiful natural landmarks and these are like the beautiful trails one of the most popular ones that you probably know about is the Scarborough Bluffers Park but there's so many like adjacent um, parks and trails that people often overlook and you can spend like months and weeks exploring them they're huge and they all go by the sort of uh, Bluffers Formation which is just a beautiful uh, formation land formation um, land and water formation to look at you know and it's created by like ice uh, uh, ice sheets moving across and sliding across the land thousands of years ago there's a lot of history uh, geography archaeology behind it but it produced these amazing uh, landmark and really eye-catching stunning and Scarborough you know it doesn't get enough respect for its natural landmarks um, yeah but it's getting more attention recently you know I see like the block to articles and all that the downside to that is you know everybody and their grandma is gonna come on these trails now and you know garbage litter and whatever uh, create some ruckus out in scarp so there's downsides there's upsides to everything but you know well before everybody gets there you might want to explore some of Scarborough's finest uh, trails and uh, natural landmarks we got a few just off the top of my mind um, Port Union waterfront that place is beautiful obviously Guildwood Park that's iconic 
uh, right there and Scarborough Bluffers Park that y'all definitely know about already. Uh, that's just the name of few off the top. All right, that brings me to the third and final reason, reason number three, why I love scarbs. Um, it's gotta be the ethno-cultural cuisines. Now listen, I get it, downtown Toronto, the other boroughs or whatever, GTA parts, you can still get a lot of ethno culture cuisine, but I'm telling you, man, nobody does it like scarbs. The variety, the prices, you can't beat us on those prices. Like you can still get a full box of biryani or jerk chicken, whatever, for like seven, eight bucks still, right? That same meal you go to downtown Toronto, that's like $25 or $20 at least for the same portions and uh, items so you know we do it big out in Scarborough as far as uh, ethnocultural cuisines go and your options are endless and it's fantastic uh, out there you know it hasn't been bougie-fied and overpriced you know coffee and like artisan shops it hasn't reached there yet but what the future brings we don't know right even with the trails and everything that I was talking about they might get privatized over time i hope they don't you know i'm sure there's condo developers and ish you know just salivating over these properties uh trying to take them out of public use and all that but we'll see there's a lot of factors going into that but yeah coming back to the food man people get shocked when you know i take them out to restaurants in scarborough and they see the proportions of food they give you for the price they give you and obviously the taste um, their minds like get blown um, so yeah fantastic place if you're a foodie and you're not trying to have you know uh, just the basic you know pasta or poutine or whatever um, yeah so once again those are pretty much top three reasons this video is all one take, you know, let me know down below if there's some crucial reason that you think I missed, um, you can put them in the comments, otherwise keep following the channel, I'm putting out heat like every other day, you won't want to miss it, as I said, whether you're trying to make memes or trying to make a million, there's something in this channel for you, so as always, comment, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell button, this is Tahmid signing out, peace.